Naum's cell phone rang. It was his brother, Roni, calling because his vehicle had run out of gas on the outskirts of the city. Naum grabbed a gas can, mounted his motorcycle, and headed out to help Roni. He arrived at the spot where his brother was broken down. As he stood on the edge of the busy highway, he didn't notice a dump truck headed his way. The man driving the truck was stone drunk. He lost control of the truck, crossed the median, careened across the highway, and smashed into Naum, who stood next to the motorcycle. Like a rag doll, Naum's body was twisted and crushed between the giant tires, and then ejected out onto the road. An ambulance was finally called, and Naum was rushed to the hospital. Despite numerous broken bones and his head swollen three times its normal size, Naum was still alive, but his chances of survival were slim. His brain was so swollen from the impact, the doctors decided that his only chance of survival would be to remove part of his brain, relieving the pressure inside his skull. They were unsure of the results, but had no other options. The operation lasted for hours as they carefully removed a quarter of Naum's brain. For weeks after the surgery, Naum drifted between life and death as he lingered in a coma. Doctors gave little hope. They said if he did survive, he would be a vegetable. Naum's family rallied around him, praying and begging God for a miracle. His mother, Mirta, stood faithfully by his side. After weeks of recovery, Naum began to improve, and he awakened from his coma. Doctors were shocked when Naum began to talk with coherency. He began to move and regain his strength. The family watched with amazement as a miracle unfolded before their eyes. One of Naum's neighbors who attends the Tiloarque Church invited Naum and his family to services. Grateful for God's mercy on their lives, they decided to come to church to show their appreciation to the Lord. Each Sunday morning, Eric Coons would drive to Naum's house and pick him up for church. Naum would always be ready, waiting in his wheelchair on the side of the street. He loved the services. It wasn't long until Naum came forward to pray and to give his heart to God. Naum's faith for a complete healing continued to grow. He never failed to ask the church to pray that he would be able to walk. God began to answer that prayer. Within a short time, Naum left his wheelchair behind. The people marveled the morning Naum came walking into church with only a cane. God had done the work.
with a quarter of his brain missing. Naum has every person's phone number from the church memorized. He can quote many Bible verses from memory. His family, doctors, and friends stand amazed. Today, Naum shares his testimony wherever he goes, encouraging others to have faith. God answers prayers. <laughs>